Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for inviting us to AJCC US Network Forum. My name is Tetsuya Nomoto from Deloitte Japan. Today, I'd like to introduce Tomokomai, CCUS platform project that Mr. Kajiyama, Minister of Economy, Trade, and Industry of the Japanese government, mentioned yesterday. Next slide, please. Thank you. A few months ago, a Deloitte Japan and the JPEX has been commissioned a study from Japanese government to design a concept to realize citywide zero emission in Tomokomai by, by sector coupling, utilizing various CCUS technologies. This slide shows the objective of this study. For the next two years, we will conduct a study shown on this slide, that is to analyze CCUS scenario, evaluate citywide CO2 reduction potential, and build consensus among stakeholders. And hopefully, we would like to conduct a demonstration project after completion of this study. Next slide, please. Thank you very much. I would like to explain why we chose Tomakoma as a CCUS development site. There are three reasons why we chose Tomakoma. Firstly, Tomokomai has complete oil value, ch value chain from oil production, refinery, to CO2 storage and a capture and storage. Notably, JPEX, one of the oil exploration companies in Japan, and also a main important partner of this project, produce oil and gas in Tomokomai. Secondly, there is a CO2 capture and storage facility established by METI and the Netherlands. And we can, we can utilize this facility. And thirdly, there is a strong potential of renewable energy. Tomakoma is located in Hokkaido, northern part of Japan. And there are abundant forest resources and also plenty of land spaces for solar installation. These three factors sum up to the strong reason why we believe that Tomakoma is the best location for CCUS technology deployment. Next slide, please. Thank you very much. This is a schematic map in Tomakoma. There are many large CO2 emitters and CO2 potential consumers. In the right-hand side, there is a coal-fired power station operated by Hokkaido Power. In the center, there is an oil refinery of the Yemitsu and the, the, which is the only refinery in Hokkaido, and Shinchitose Airport, one of the largest airports in Japan. Tomokomai Port is one of the key logistics, logistics port in Hokkaido region and the hub for long distance truck transportation. There are, there are also concrete factory, vegetable factory, which potentially absorb CO2. So, in this project, we would like to examine how we can reduce CO2 by coupling these CO2 emitters and CO2 potential absorbers listed on the slide. So next slide, please. Thank you very much. Next, next slide, please. Thank you very much. So this slide shows how much CO2 is emitted within the city. In our estimation, 5 million tons of CO2 is emitted in Tomokoma every year. Primarily, CO2 comes from coal-fired power stations, and also large amount of CO2 emitted from oil storage or oil usage, such as land transportation, aviation, and heat. In other words, we believe that applying CCS for coal-fired power plant and the governorization of heating energy resources are one of the key solutions uh, to realize net zero society in Tomokoma. Next slide, please. Thank you. So this shows an example of sector carbon to achieve net zero society. We expect that CO2 supply for the CO2 pipeline comes from large scale CO2 emitters, such as the refinery, power station, including biomass power stations and the paper mills. And CO2 can be absorbed by e factory, 
combating the existing order family to the issue of the family, EOR, methylation, and the chemical, chemical production. On the course of this study, we draw a complete picture of the governance society and build the consensus among stakeholders. Next slide, please. Thank you. In regard to consensus building, a strong local support is another uniqueness of Tamakomai, this, this Tamakomai project. Before commencement of this study, I have met executives of over 25 local companies listed on this slide, including JPEX, uh, Hokkaido Electric Power, Ijemitsu, and the local governments. And I'm very proud to say that the whole, all of them showed very strong support for us and for this project. Next slide, please. Thank you very much. Let me summarize today's presentation. On the course of this study, we will achieve following three objectives. So firstly, we will examine a sector capital potential. And secondly, we will design a complete picture of the governance society. And thirdly, we will build consensus among the stakeholders to move on to the next demonstration project. And hopefully, after completion of this study, we would like to start existing a exciting new CC, CCUS demonstration project in Tomokomai. This is all of my presentation. Thank you very much for your attention.